from MyGamer.com, and today I am playing Circuit Breakers on Xbox One. Before I jump in real quick, let's just listen to this pretty nice rock music from this menu screen. While I'm doing that, I can go over the options that are available in the game. So option you can mess with your noise, turn the vibration off, which is a nice feature. A lot of games actually don't have this. Extras. Check out your stats. This game actually has a lot of stats, like, uh, similar to Smash Brothers, I would say. Where it just keeps track of everything that you do. From the amount of people, uh, guys that you kill, to combos, to your score, to everything. So there's kind of a lot of stats, which is kind of cool. Alright, let's just jump in. You got arcade and score attack. We're just going to play arcade mode. Now this game is a multiplayer, same sofa only, twin stick shooter. And I'm going to play as Shelby, I think, because I played as Shelby. And let's see how this goes. So anyway, uh, if, if I had other pl people playing with me, they can hop in right now. So it is a six player co-op game. So, like... Robotron, or um, you know, Odyssey Wars, I guess. It's a twin stick shooter, but not exactly in the way that you think it might be. So it's twin stick in the, in the fact that you control movement with the left stick and then you shoot with the right stick. But the big difference here is even though you can use the other stick to shoot, you can only shoot in the four directions, up, down, left, and right, so there's no shooting on an angle. So, you, you know, so there's really no point of using the other analog stick as opposed to using the face buttons. It's actually a little bit easier to use the face buttons in one in each direction, just like on the controllers laid out. So actually, what, that's what I'm doing here, I find that it's a little easier because you can often get caught in that middle ground where you're shooting, you're like, no, I don't want to shoot at an angle, I just want to shoot straight, but since you're using the analog stick. Anyway, so the gimmick behind this game is if you notice every guy that I killed is these little shards that appear on their fallen corpses. So you're shooting robots, by the way, hence the name Serpent Breakers, killing serpents. So the give and take system with this game is when you kill enemies, they drop this blue shard that you collect. So if you look in the upper left hand corner, you're going to see, right now I'm at 77 of 100, and each time I shoot, that number decreases. But every time that you kill, it drops shards. So it's kind of a give and take where you don't want to mindlessly just shoot, shoot, shoot. You kind of want to pick your shots because if you keep shooting, eventually your level go down and your gun won't be as powerful, won't be as wide, or the explosion won't be as big. So the more enemies you kill faster, so the, combos, the more powerful your gun is, and in theory, more enemies you can kill with a single blast or the explosion. The other... So you can see in the... I have three of three health, just to get the health item. This box that, that's right here, this orange box, if you shoot it, it explodes. So it can kill a bunch of guys in one blast. What's cool about that, though, is the blast does not kill you. Not damage you. The guy that I'm playing is a shotgun, so I kind of want to keep him close, but it's good for crowd control. You can just you can take advantage of the spawn points. The spawn can it is in dropout co-op, as you can see from the What I guess I don't like about this game is it's the same thing every time. It's just fine, so it's the same. This is you know, level 3. This is always level 3. Which is fine, it's not randomly generated. This is a lower cost game. I think it maybe cost 10 bucks. Not exactly sure on the price right now. Throw away your shot. 
Also like Smash Brothers and Upshoulders after I die. You... There's challenges, and there's a challenge board, which is pretty much stolen right from Smash Brothers. You kind of want to clear out the board and challenges, and then you kind of see, you see what's around the challenge that you unlock. I'll show you that in like sense now, but I'll show you when I die. It's un kind of unfortunate because it's, this is the game, this gauntlet type of game is just screaming to play properly. So if you don't have both of the people to play with, it kind of sucks, it gets boring, it gets mindless, but this is, this is it. As you can see, there's just a ton of stuff going on screen at once. And it only gets worse. There's other enemies that shoot bullets at you, and you can't really make out what's a bullet versus what's a shard versus what's an enemy, and it gets pretty chaotic. This level has these minecart things in the middle, these crates, and it just kind of gets Oh, and then the other thing that we talk about is when you hit the left trigger, I'll do it in a second. You can block, you can put up a shield, and if you put up your shield at the right time, you can deflect bullets back at them. Or you can push them back. Right here, I'll activate my see how it's blue. And when you activate the blue left trigger, so that it takes your shard, it takes your shard points away. that if you play this multiplayer, especially with six people, you can spread out. I mean, every guy, every playable character is different. So this guy again, has a shotgun, there's another guy that just has a, a machine gun that just shoots a lot straight forward. There's another guy that has a laser that shoots through enemies. There's another guy that has a rocket that a rocket that something that explodes. So there's this big disc shooting disc. And you can bump into guys, that's what's cool, you just saw that I was bumping into enemies. But it didn't kill me, unlike any other game where... Um, uh, but if you just bump into guys, you're not going to really lose health. It's only really when they kind of shoot you or explode on you, so you kind of have a little bit of health. These blue guys are bastards because they shoot at you and they hit you guys. There is not, however... Not, however, a screen clearing bomb ultimate. And every level, see, I'm going to go through this door here. Every new door, every new room that you go in, you kind of start over again. Give you a full batch of health. I had full health. If I didn't have full health, you would get full health here. Shotgun guy, maybe a laser guy, or 
Not your guy. There's another guy that has a chain gun, where it shoots just a ton of bullets really quick, but it actually pushes you back. So you gotta be careful with it. So there is a balance. Pros and cons of the enemy. Just play the character. This game is also on Steam, I'm pretty sure. going to, but using the face buttons to shoot in the four directions, not too bad. Works better than I thought. Shot at by these blue guys, there's too many of them. So if I would have got to level 10, you would have fought a boss. So I played a Shelby, I got over a thousand kills, and that's my score. So press the menu to continue, and it just takes you back. And I did not unlock any um, challenges. I go to the challenge page. What's weird about the challenge page? So here, for example, I obtained a 50-hit uh, combo, right? Unlocked, I cleared 20 rooms. I destroyed 500 robots. Uh, I did not defeat 10 bosses yet, you know, with Shelby, right? So you can see in the page there, it's, the, it's one of five. So there's four other pages that are uh, character specific. Uh, and you can't, I don't know how to, oh, there it goes. You have to click up. Okay, never mind. I thought you could switch. But if, okay, so if you play as Aldo, destroy 1,000 robots, you know, clear 50 trials with the score. So I haven't done this stuff yet. So it's kind of like Smash Brothers in the way where you get this board and you got to try to unlock it. So I, I haven't played as Tay very much. And I haven't played with Samson very much, but there's a lot to unlock here if this is your this is your deal. And um, what else? So the logbook just explains the enemies and, and the characters that are available. And the shielding it just talks about it. it. Just talks about everything. I didn't unlock these yet, I guess. But. So th this has been Circuit Breakers, let's just play a quick score attack. It's th basically the same thing, and I can only play short circuits, so let's just do that. And uh, I'll play as, so Tay's got the laser, chain gun which pushes God and God back. Samson, Shelby, who I just played as, is Aldo, so I'll play as Aldo and just use his machine gun, he's kind of your general character, first character. Good luck, do your best. Yes, thank you. So you just say you can see it just kind of shoots quickly right in front of you. So this is the same thing. This is like the first level that I played. But I think this only this 
channel and I'll see you guys the timer in the corner. But I think this... So, this one only goes to like five minutes or something like that. I can't remember. I could have been more than It's just a challenge. I don't even know what the challenge is. It's just kind of play this to get a high score or the this time. I don't want to tell you. It's just kind of weird. Maybe it's just weird. You see obvious. The game does play smooth. Enemies on the game are slow, dot control is accurate. This actually does seem hard. Yeah, this is hard. She even knows it's a challenge to get to Because all these enemies do not feel like this. When I play this. So I can leave the level right now so Take out the blue guys first because they have the blue. These crates just get in the way of some bear belts. Because yeah, there's other stages that have some bear belts that could make you walk faster, you might have to walk against them. Gets in the way to switch up the level design. It's weird, sometimes I feel like This wall to my right, I can't walk through it. So it almost looks like a pit or something you could potentially walk on, but it is a wall. So that's what I'm saying. Sometimes the background or the foreground really looks in the back of the table. Oh, there's See, this is where you really need co-op play. Because playing this one player is hard, you get overwhelmed, it doesn't seem like the difficulty changes depending on the players that are available. But if you had seen us, you look at this. This is where I need some kind of vibe. So that was it, so it was only four levels. Uh, so I got 822 kills, the score, there you go. So, that's pretty much it. That is the game. This has been Circuit Breakers. No point in playing anything else, because yeah, it's just a twin stick shooter. You play the same things over and over again just with your different characters. I have no idea how to unlock these other characters. I'm guessing you have to beat the game or beat so many bosses or get so far, but doing that single player is pretty rough. So, anyway, uh, this has been Squall Snake from MyGamer.com. Check us out. Put us in your bookmarks. We post a bunch of reviews, previews, streams. Join the forums and talk, all that kind of good stuff. 
Again, I'm Squall Snake. Check out MyGamer.com. This has been Circuit Breakers on Xbox One. And thanks for watching Game On.